Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Retrovin, and we're here at the next episode of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and this time we're going to be talking about an episode that reveals one of the greatest characters, meet Casey Jones. Um, everybody knows him and loves him. He's the big hockey mask guy. This is his first appearance in the show, actually. And it's actually really interesting the way they first show him off, because they basically start off with like basically showing him sitting in like a beat up apartment pretty much he's uh he's lifting like a little weight so it's showing that he's a tough guy and he's looking at the news talking about purple dragons and it's actually a really good way because it transitions from that into showing what happened to him when he was younger and how the purple dragons torched his dad's store and basically shows like why he has an issue with the purple dragons and that's when we get into the main episode so Michelangelo and Raphael are in the lair. They're doing some good old average training. And then Michelangelo tends to do the Michelangelo thing. And he basically distracts Raphael and makes him frustrated. So Raphael gets angry and almost legitimately hurts Michelangelo. So the other turtles try to stop him. And surprisingly for Raphael, he actually felt really bad about it and basically ran out. In the context, it was probably the best for him since he probably needs to go outside to, uh, I guess in the Ninja Turtles sense, touch some grass. As he's going for a little night jog across the buildings, he notices something going on. This crazy guy in a hockey mask is beating up a bunch of purple dragons. All of it seems pretty standard because he's helping a lady that's, um, getting robbed, but then he takes it a little too far by, like, brutally beating them. So Raphael comes down to stop him and, uh, Casey gets mad because, you know, he wants to teach these purple dragons a lesson. And Raphael says, listen, this isn't the honorable way to do it. So him and Casey basically get a little little fight over it. And then he s basically smacks Raphael and runs off. In between uh, Raphael's little issue there, Michelangelo is nagging Donatello as Donatello is actually trying to modify the turtle van and some other things as well. As they go through the lair and Michelangelo is trying to put up a sign, which Donatello basically wanted him to do to get him out of his way. And when he did, he they opened up like this weird looking elevator thing. And when they went in the elevator, it took them up to the warehouse. Meanwhile, back with Raphael, he's looking for Casey Jones. And as he's looking through the alleyways, he sees that Casey Jones is riding a motorcycle and basically trips him as he's driving off. He then tells Raphael that if he wants a rematch with Casey to meet him at Friday night on Central at Central Park. Sadly, unbeknownst to them, one of the Purple Dragon leaders catches that and basically has a plan to ambush them. And so Raphael goes back to the lair and tells the turtles about this. And he was even so gracious as to apologize to Mikey. How nice of him. And after everything's all done, uh, Raphael basically tells the other turtles that he wants them to come with him, so they try to sneak out so Splinter doesn't stop them, because Raphael thinks that Casey Jones is the legitimately good guy, and he wants to help the guy, basically, and show him the error of his ways. Splinter does find out, though, and he turns on the lights, basically spooking them. But he tells them to go out anyways, because he thinks it's the right thing, so nothing really changes in those regards. As they go in the modified turtle van, Donatello shows Raphael that he got him a little motorbike. So he goes out there to basically chase after Casey Jones with it and tackles him. Casey Jones then gives Raphael a detailed explanation about his life, pretty much, and why he hates the purple dragons that we saw in the intro there. Everything's all good and wholesome, but then the purple dragons suddenly come in and attack, and... You know, now they got a big battle on their hands. After they end up defeating the purple dragons, Raphael and Casey basically um, battle it out. But as friends now, they seem to be getting along now and becoming the bestest of friends, truly the happiest ending. Now, what did I think about this episode? I would say it's about the same as the first episode. I'd give it a solid eight out of 10, probably, because it was a very good, again, kind of like the first episode, introduction to a character. I think it was a good way to introduce Casey Jones while having good action and also developing Raphael's character as well. Again, I also liked all the antics the other brothers had while Raphael was going at Casey Jones. So yeah, I would give it a solid 8. It was a pretty good episode and a great introduction. Anyways though, that's going to be it for Meet Casey Jones. In the next one, we're going to be talking about a pretty crazy character. He's a little, little micro-droid kind of guy. 
uh, Nano. So we'll be talking about that episode in the next video. So I'll see you guys then, and I'm out. Peace.